65-year-old Alan Levine grew up in post-war Britain. After turning 21, he immigrated to the United States and became a naturalized citizen. Levine has been in the software business for over 30 years, and now he's running for the first district congressional seat in Hawaii's Republican primary. Alan Levine was stuck in a traffic jam with a copy of the Constitution when he discovered it is legally possible to run in more than one state. And I noticed under Article 1, Section 2, that um, the conditions for running for the House of Representatives or the Senate were that you had to be an inhabitant, which translates currently to resident of that state when elected. Did you catch that, everyone? When elected, which is after the primary. Alan, you must have a special sense of feeling needed this election year. Why is winning a seat in Congress so important to you? I think the country's going to have a severe economic failure in three years, which I can cure. But in order to fix it, I have to have a vote. Exactly what do you expect to happen in three years? The problem that we have fundamentally is that our country spends money far in excess of its income. That works for a while until you are unable to borrow any more. And what will happen, I think, in about three years is that the foreign creditors who continually loan us money will eventually say enough. And your solution is eliminating the corporate income tax. Has anything similar ever been done in another country? There is a country in Europe known as the Celtic Tiger Island or era. Um, they um, have very low taxes specifically to attract foreign businesses. One of those foreign businesses is Apple Computer, or Apple, or Apple as they're known now. Apple has something like $150 billion sitting in Irish bank accounts and they will not bring that back to the United States. They keep their profits overseas, and they're happy to do that. They would rather repatriate the money here, but if they do that, they're going to have to pay our government $50 billion to do so. So, how would the U.S. government balance the books if we dropped the tax? We would generate well over 5 million new jobs, well over, I would think, probably closer to 10 million new jobs. Every person who's unemployed now will have it, any job they pretty much want, because if you're breathing, which is the way it was in 1970, you can get a job. So these people will be employed and not on public assistance, and they will be paying taxes. It's that application of paying taxes that will offset the loss of federal corporate income. That's thinking outside the box. Now, Alan, I have to ask you this. If you lose the Hawaiian primary, is there a plan B? One of the backup states we thought we had a real good opportunity to run in is Rhode Island, and we're actively considering uh, entering that race. That would be the first congressional district. So that's easy to remember. The first congressional district in Hawaii and the first congressional district in Rhode Island. Thanks for talking with us, Alan. Winning the August 9th primary means Levine moves to Hawaii. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.